я видел такую силу. Тогда она не испугала меня. Но сейчас... Пусть прошлое умрет. Убей его. Если потребуется. Now they're gonna ask us, where were you when they took over the planet? We're gonna say, we just stood by and watched. night I watched Conspiratus, and now I'm scared shitless of the satanic Illuminati. In part four, they talk about UFOs, and how two of the top UFO researchers have determined that UFOs are not intergalactic, but actually interdimensional demonic beings. thing stronger than fear a little hope is effective a lot of hope is dangerous so so contain it it should be possible for computers to detect malicious, misleading, and incorrect information, and essentially have you not see it. Where are you? Just take it off the page, right? Put it somewhere else. Make it harder to find. Make it harder to find. If you look at this, uh, it's horrifying, but this is basically what happens when you get demonetized. Um, and so it actually falls in line with what I've been saying this whole time. I immediately turned on CNN to see what was going on. This was an active live shooting. There was a reporter live on the scene. This is a screenshot I took off my own television. These guys were running ads, five minute long ads, every five minutes when they knew people were watching, glued to the TV, looking for live updates. This one I pictured here, Three out of seven ads. Here's the ironic touch that makes you just love that golden shower. Brought to you by Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi. You know, at first I was just angry at CNN for monetizing this tragedy, this live tragedy, right? I'm glued to the TV, I'm looking for updates, and these sick fucks are basically just pulling the money lever because that ratings are so high. But then when I think about it after a couple hours, I'm like, hold on a fucking second. These are the same brands that boycotted YouTube. Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi. These are the same guys that pulled their ads out of YouTube for being inappropriate.
Nobody's sincere. These brands don't give a shit about monetizing tragedy. They've been doing it for decades on CNN. It's just about control and politics and money. And that's it. I saw all these brands that boycotted YouTube. And I'm like, oh my god. So this is confirmed just a total sham. YouTube, if it's your policy to not run ads on videos about tragedies, no matter the intent, then how do you explain this? Jimmy Kimmel on Mass Shooting in Las Vegas. GMC ad. Here's an ad for the new Blade Runner movie. And it's number one on trending. So they not only made the conscious decision to put ads on this video in contradiction of their own statement, they've also decided to trend it number one. They never responded to the criticism. In fact, they doubled down. This video has more ads than I've seen in the past month since this adpocalypse happened. Just out of curiosity, I went and checked this morning to see if ads were still on the video in response to Philidy's criticism. Let's have a look. Royal Caribbean, Wells Fargo, University of Phoenix, Geostorm. So their response was not only to ignore the criticism, not enforce their own rules, but to double down and put what seemed like even more ads on the video. It's just one more way of reducing your liberty and reminding you that they can fuck with you anytime they want, as long as you put up with it. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. I'll be very blunt in my assessment. I'm peeking, Kevin. It's my time now. It is very important that the Russian government consider carefully their continued support for the Assad regime. 